Could butterflies be endangered by genetically modified Bt maize? This was the question that Mechthild Schopener from the University of Aachen pursued during a three-year series of experiments. Bt maize produces Bt protein in all parts of the plant, which then kills off the larvae of maize pests. The maize that was examined here contains three different Bt proteins, two of which affect the European corn borer, a butterfly species. This is why other species of butterfly could also be endangered. Although these butterflies do not feed on maize like the European corn borer does, they may still ingest pollen from Bt maize if it lands on their forage plants. We selected two species of butterfly, the small tortoiseshell and the peacock butterfly. We particularly chose these two because they are common in agricultural landscapes and because their larvae develop during the time of the maize blossom. Another reason was that they are monophagous species, which means that they only feed on one plant species, namely the stinging nettle, which is also commonly found in agricultural landscapes. In the laboratory, a feeding experiment was conducted with butterfly larvae. Mechthild Schubiner first wanted to find out what effects can be seen if larvae ingest pollen from Bt maize. Pollen suspensions of different concentrations were applied to leaf discs, cut from stinging nettle plants and then offered to the larvae. A control group was given leaf discs with non-genetically modified maize pollen. A number of aspects were investigated. How are feeding activity, weight gain, and the duration of development affected? What is the mortality rate? We, have effect to we were able to find effects as we had intended and as we had expected for feeding experiments with Bt pollen. First effects were observable in a range of about 2 to 300 pollen grains per square centimeter. The higher the concentration of pollen, the more frequent and the stronger was the effect that we were able to measure. First effects were observed at a dose of 200 to 300 grains of Bt maize pollen per square centimeter, when the larvae showed a decreased feeding activity. A dose of 1,000 grains of Bt maize pollen caused a distinctly higher mortality rate than in the control groups. In the next step, under field conditions, it was examined to what extent butterfly larvae come into contact with Bt maize pollen under natural circumstances. To record the precipitation of pollen, Mechthild Schuppener set up pollen traps at different distances from the maize trial field. Next to every pollen trap, she additionally placed a pot with a stinging nettle plant. During maize blossom, the pollen traps were emptied daily and sample leaves were cut from the stinging nettle plants. The individual grains of pollen were then counted with the help of a microscope. We found the highest amounts of pollen on the pollen traps and the stinging nettle leaves in immediate proximity to the edge of the maize field. At a distance of five meters from the field, we found far less pollen and the further away from the field, the smaller amounts of pollen were able to record. Directly next to the edge of the field, we recorded an average of 150 grains of pollen per square centimeter on the pollen traps, while on the stinging nettle leaves, only a fifth of this amount was found. The average pollen concentrations that were measured on the stinging nettle leaves were thus far lower than those at which first effects could be observed in the laboratory. The pollen traps have a sticky surface structure on which the pollen adheres very well, while stinging nettle leaves do not possess this sticky surface structure. Therefore, the pollen can roll off the leaf, the wind blows it off, or it can be washed off by rain. To identify where butterflies occur in agricultural landscapes, Mechthild Schuppener and her team closely analyzed two different regions. They recorded the stinging nettle population, and during the time of the maize blossom, they searched the plants for nests of small tortoiseshell and peacock butterfly. For both regions, they were able to show that butterfly larvae were found both at close range and far away from maize fields. Here, Mechthild Schuppener summarizes the results of her three-year research work. In the laboratory, we found effects which we had already expected, because Bt pollen contains proteins that harm butterflies. In the field, we were only able to detect small amounts of pollen on the forage plants, the stinging nettles. Apart from that, we showed that only parts of the larvae populations were found close to maize fields. In summary, one can say that the risk for butterflies of being affected by this variety of Bt maize can be ranked as negligibly small.